Good morning, children. In today's session, I'm going to take class for uh, seventh standard English top three. Okay, that is top three portion, unit one prose. In the last class itself, in the previous class, we have started this lesson. That is the lesson name is Journey by Train. Okay, so this novel is taken from the just will this uh, see children around the world in eighty days. Okay, this from this passage is taken from the novel called the Around the World in Eighty Days. It was written by Julius Verne. And then who was the Englishman children? Mr. Phileas Fogg and his attendant called the passport. And who was the third passenger? The third passenger was a Sir Francis Cromarty. So they were travelling in a train. Okay, they were travelling in India. That is, they were in the Bombay. And then we have seen till here. Then what happened? They were uh, stopped. That is, in the morning, eight o'clock, in the middle of the forest, the train stopped. Okay. The what is the forest? It's a forest of dates and acacias. Then um, where did it stop? Then the hamlet of Corby, and they want to go to Allahabad, and it is fifty miles away from this place. Okay, and here Sir Francis was very angry of hearing this. Okay, till here we finish this lesson in the last class. Now we'll continue the lesson. No doubt replied the conductor, but the passengers know that they must provide means of transportation. For themselves from Kolbi to Allahabad, that is, the passengers all should come to know that they have to go to uh, Allahabad from their own transportation. Okay, from Kolbi to Allahabad, they have to go on their own transportation. Sir Francis was furious. Furious means very angry. So Sir Francis was very angry. Passport out would willingly have knocked the conductor down. So after hearing this, passport out what knocked means. Uh, banging that is adikarazan sudden avlo ko and the chest now want to knock him down knock the conductor and did not dare to look at mr fog so so francis was very angry and even the passport also want to um, knock the conductor or bang the conductor okay sir francis said mr fog quietly we will if you please look about for some means of transport to allahabad so any means of transport okay Any other vehicles is going to Allahabad, Mr. Fogg. There is a delay greatly to your disadvantage. So it is a delay. Remember, I have told you. No, Sir Francis, it was foreseen. Foreseen means predicted before itself. So I know that something will happen like this. Okay, it was predicted. Predicted. Now, when did it happen? Foreseen. What you knew that the way. So you knew that the that the a uh, train will stop in the middle itself. We you know this. He asked. Not at all. But I knew that some obstacle, obstacle means any difficulty, or other would sooner or later arise on my road. Nothing, therefore, is lost. So, not any that something is going to happen. Any difficulty is going to come in the when we are traveling like this. I have two days which I have already gained to sacrifice. A steamer leaves Calcutta. Steamer means it's a ship or any vehicle that is driven by a steam using the steam leaves Calcutta for Hong Kong at noon on the twenty fifth. This is the twenty second. So on the twenty fifth, they have to go to Hong Kong. This is the twenty second, and will reach Calcutta on time. So we are going to reach the Calcutta on time. Now we are going to go to the section three. Mr. Fogg and Sir Francis Cromarty, after searching the village from end to end, came back without having found anything. So they searched the village from end to end, from one corner to another corner. They searched in all the places. They cannot found any. a vehicle or any means of transportation so there was nothing then i shall go on foot said phileas fox so uh, go on foot means by walk okay i shall go on foot said phileas fox passport out who had now rejoined his master made an unhappy face so he was very unhappy as he thought of his magnificent indian shoes happily he too had been looking about him and after a moment's hesitation said monsieur I think I have found the means of conveyance. Conveyance means transportation. I have found something. What they asked? An elephant. So, what is the means of transportation now? An elephant riding on an elephant. An elephant that belongs to an India who lives but a hundred steps from here. Kioni. That is from here. They have to go to move to hundred steps from here to uh, fetch an elephant. Kioni. This was the name of the animal. What name? Kioni. K I O U N I. What elephant animal is that? Elephant, right? The animal's name is Kioni. This was the name of the animal. 
could doubtless travel rapidly quickly for a long time and in the absence of any other means of transport that is no other transport is there no vehicle is there so by this animal only with this animal only they have to travel mr fog resolved to hire him adavadu kaasu kodutha vaangikalam abdinte okay to hire adavadu inge nu or eduthu poradhukaga hire pandrom illaya nama ipo nama eppadi call taxis andha mari poru andha mari will hire this elephant when therefore mr fog proposed this to the elephant's owner adavadu elephant oda owner irpaanga illaya so he proposed him he asked him okay he refused point blank but the owner of the elephant refused to uh, give an elephant to, to them okay mr fog persisted now mr fog persisted means continued offering the excessive sum excessive sum means more amount okay he was offering the more amount of 10 pounds an hour for the loan of the animal to allahabad that is for 1 hour 10 pounds to go to allahabad but then also he refused 20 pounds refuse so for one each one he is refusing refusing na that means he don't want that okay he is not willing to give that animal 40 pounds still refused so he was asking 10 20 40 but he still refused not to give that animal phileas fog without getting in the least flurried without without getting worried they proposed to purchase animal purchase animal na kaas kurtha apdi vaangikirathu preetha avanga own use kaga so he want to own that animal and at first offered a thousand pounds for him that he want to own the animal by thousand pounds okay first he asked 10 20 40 for hiring but now he refused it for all but now he want to own that animal and the animal abbi vaangikirathu and for how many pounds thousand pounds the owner perhaps thinking he was going to make a great bargain but still refused he said thousand point uh, pounds i'll give for you for that animal but still the owner refused he don't want to give that animal mr fog offered first 1200 first he said 1000 1, then 1200 then 1500 then 1800 2000 pounds now at last he came to the 2000 pounds passport out was fairly white with suspense a 2000 points the man yielded yielded means accepted now he accepted to for the 2000 points first pounds first he said that he will not give for uh, hiring for that is 10 pounds 20 pounds 40 pounds so he refused to give it then the pass uh, mr fog want to buy that animal own that animal he asked him for 10000 um, pounds he said he refused it then for 12 13 14 no now at last he asked for uh, for how many pounds 2000 pounds okay passport then at 2000 pounds at last the man the owner of the animal accepted the 2000 pounds then good heavens what a price for an elephant cried passport what price you have given then a young man with an intelligent face offered his services as a guide so a man has uh, along went along with the as a guide which mr fog accepted he accepted it promising so generous a reward as it greatly increases his zeal his zeal means his passion okay then the elephant was led out and equipped now the elephant was given to ride on that okay now the um that is englishman then french and then then uh, sir francis they all were going to go in that elephant now they are going to ride in that elephant to allahabad okay the man who was a skilled elephant driver covered the elephant's back now elephant driver okay is a guide who is going to go along with them he covered the elephant's back with a sort of saddle cloth saddle cloth means that is leather seat at the back of the animal so one seat is there so totally how many passengers are going to go three now one its seat is at the back of the elephant with the saddle cloth that is leather seat and attached to it of its sides though both the sides of some comfortable how does how does means that is riding on the back of the elephant then phileas fogg paid the elephant owner with some bank notes which he extracted from the famous carpet bag carpet bag means a traveling bag made of the uh, cloth used for carpet okay he gave some bank notes that is extracted from the carpet bag an action that made poor passport out lose his breath so so much he gave to that uh, elephant's owner then while sir francis so and mr fogg took the howdahs on either side okay kept it on the either side 
passed out got into the saddle cloth between them both of them sat on the side and the uh, france who is that passed out sat at the back of the elephant that is there was a saddle cloth right so that is both of them were there in between he was sitting the driver perched himself then the driver positioned himself that is who is going to ride the elephant he positioned himself perched means positioned himself on the elephant's neck so where will the driver sit on the uh, in the elephant on the elephant's neck only in front right so now the driver positioned himself on the front of the neck of the elephant and at 9 o'clock they set out from the village at what time they went at 9 o'clock the animal marching off through the dense of forest of palms by the shortcuts now they they, they went by the shortcuts to the from the village to the allahabad now this is was a story children okay so now do you understand this uh, story it was very interesting right so from which novel this was taken that is around the world in 80 days then it was written by julius one so who were the three passengers going in the train an englishman mr felix fogg and the french attendant passport out and who were the third passenger sir francis uh, cromartie okay now they were uh, traveling in the train then suddenly what happened the train stopped in the middle of the forest now they have to then the conductor said it will not go further the train will not go further right now they want to go to allahabad now so how many miles was there 50 miles to go so the they all searched for the village nothing no other transportation no means of transportation was there right so now they decided to go in and ride on an elephant okay now the elephant they want to hire the elephant and they asked the elephant owner how many pounds 10 20 40 pounds but the uh, elephant's owner refused right then what happened at last he accepted with the how many pounds 2000 pounds and they started to ride on the elephant and then how these three passengers will sit then elephant's driver was also there so this uh, francis accepted to go along with him so at the back of the elephant's um, there was a saddle cloth that is leather seat there one passenger can sit and other two sides uh, can sit in between this saddle cloth so both of them were sitting and then passport out was sitting at the back of the elephant and the elephant's driver where did he uh, sit he positioned himself and stood on the elephant's neck and they at uh, what time they went out from there at 9 o'clock they departed from there at 9 o'clock from the village and they went to the from the shortcuts to allahabad now did you understand this children yes this lesson is over with this okay it was very interesting story right now we'll see the meanings children it is in the page number 81 i'll just read out you can also read along with me after buying the book you can also learn from the book okay proceeded moved okay it's in the page number 81 proceeded moved fertile territory rich vegetated area fertile territory rich vegetated area locomotive railway engine locomotive railway engine horizon the line at which the earth surface and the sky appear to meet gazing look steadily hasty quick so once again i'll read children you can read along with me so it is easy for you to read out okay proceeded moved fertile territory rich vegetated area locomotive railway engine horizon the line at which the earth surface and the sky appear to meet gazing look steadily hasty quick then in the page number 83 that is from the section 2 meaning student halt stop acacia a thorny tree snapped became angry furious extremely angry more angry okay extremely angry foresee predicted obstacle difficulty so once again i'll read halt stop acacia a thorny tree snapped became angry furious extremely angry foreseen predicted obstacle difficulty so after buying the book you have to learn all these meanings children okay hesitation unwillingness uh, this i'll not write on the board because it's already in the book children just because of you to know the pronunciation i'm reading for you okay children hesitation unwillingness convenience transportation 
rapidly, quickly, persisted, continued, refused, not willing, point blank, bluntly, flurred, flurried, worried, yielded, accepted, how does, a seat for riding on the back of an elephant, carpet bag, a travelling bag made of the thick woven fabric used for carpet then perched positioned so once again i'll read children hesitation unwillingness conveyance transportation rapidly quickly persisted continued refused not willing point blank bluntly flurried worried yielded accepted how does a seat for riding on the back of an elephant carpet bag a traveling bag made of the thick woven fabric used for carpet perched position okay children now all these three sections we have read the meanings so with this i finish the story and the lesson this children thank you